Hello everyone, uh, hope you're well, hope you had a good weekend. Uh, my name is Douglas, I'm here in my car. I'm trying to move just to buy some few things uh, in the supermarket before the curfew hour. But I've discovered that uh, the fuel, uh, the dashboard has some light, meaning the fuel tank is a bit low. So it means if I'm going to buy some groceries, I have to pass through uh, the, uh, uh, to refill my tank. So it means I have to go and refill it uh, so that I'm able to go where I'm supposed to go and come back safely. Uh, I'm here to encourage you about marriage because marriage is work. Marriage works, but it is work. It means you have to work on it daily. Now, for you to move from where you are to where you're supposed to be in everything that you're doing in marriage, it means you have to work on it. So the things you need to do in your marriage that we have to refill your fuel tank, and that's called the love tank. So marriage is like a, a car. You can never go a longer distance if you don't refill it. Even if I fill this car uh, at a full tank and I, I go for a long distance, maybe to aim and come back, I will not be able to move again to another place. Why? Because the fuel tank is low. I have to refill it again. Saying I do on your wedding day and saying that she, telling the lady or the man that you love them does not make your marriage work. It means every day you have to say the same, same words every day to the same, same person as many times as you can. You can never say that it is enough for him or i said it once and it is all i meant it means you have to do it every day so there are a few simple things you need to do every day to your marriage or to your spouse to your husband or to your wife that makes your love tank to become full because every day you uh, you, you, you fail to say the same thing every day your love tank goes low things will not work as you expect them to do so it means every day you wake up you have to tell your wife i've been married for the last six years and this is the seventh year and every day i've realized that if we don't do something that we used to do when we were together then we will not even have that feeling to one another it means there are things that are not working in our marriage the love tank goes down so it means i have to affirm my wife every day i have to assure her of my love i have to assure her of my uh, of the things that maybe uh, she need to hear from me. What I used to tell her, you know, is data when I used to quote her. So I have to affirm her, I have to uh, give her a, a lot of uh, encouragement, I have to give her a lot of assurance, I have to give her hope, I have to pray with her. The same thing she need to tell me, she need to encourage me, she need to give me hope, she need to uh, honor me, she need to respect me, she need to tell me these words, not just by acting. If, in fact, when you do things in the house, some of the house calls do not even represent love. So the words that we speak, are very powerful so speak the words of encouragement to your wife speak some words to your spouse speak some words to your husband to your wife during this holiday refill the fuel tank do go go an extra mile and do something that you've never done that you did when you're quoting her buy a gift to her buy a surprise to her uh, uh cook for her a nice meal cook for him a nice meal wake up in the morning uh prepare her uh, her clothes prepare her, uh, her, her, her everything she loves just do the nice things refill the fuel tank do the nice things, do the things you used to do. So don't expect that when you say I do on the first day, it makes your love prone to uh, successful. Say them every day, speak them every day, uh, communicate every day, affirm every day. Your fuel tank, your love fuel tank need to be refilled. You can never say once, you can never say twice. Say them every day, make your marriage work to fail your filter god bless you so much let's meet next monday on wednesday we're doing dating and courtship but for every monday we'll be having a marriage monday where we'll talk about marriage in three minutes god bless you cheers